what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is asa speaks studio so today in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to achieve this from this to this i'm going to duplicate this one by holding down ctrl j to duplicate i'm going to turn the one below off and rename this one as image this is the image we're going to be working with let's get started the first thing you notice in this image is the blacks now we have less details we don't know what's going on down there i'm just going to go ahead and grab the solid color adjustment choose any color it's okay turn it off double click to open up the color picker and select the eyes where it needs to be white the same process we normally use now it's okay turn it on go to the blending mode and choose divide and once you choose divide you have this bright image you need to go ahead and grab the UN saturation adjustment layer and you're gonna clip it to the one below now after clipping it when you take it up it's decreased exposure and you take it up it, it increases the exposure and also I'm just going to bring down bring it up and find a good spot for it I guess this place is okay because it's not clipping with the saturation when you take it up it um, changes when you take it backward it maintains the old saturation that the image has before okay so I'm not going to increase it up to get this less saturated image I want to maintain the skin tones before so I'm just gonna take it backwards a little and you I'm gonna leave it or we can take it forward to get the yellow type of few and that's that for that now the next thing I'm gonna group these two together which is the first step and I'm gonna create a stamp visible layer holding down Control shift alternate e to create a stand visible layer so let's go to camera raw filter so here we are in camera raw filter i'm going to open the basic tab and then i'm going to use the white balance tool let's pick on the eyes this time and it's going to give us this um, i'm going to take this forward a bit to get the warm look and take this backward to have this plus minus 11 and then i'm going to go ahead with the blacks it's okay on the keyboard and it's gonna update the image we have there all right so so far so good we have before and after we have to do color correction so let's grab the U and saturation adjustment layer and this time around I'm gonna use the and tool and I'm gonna pick somewhere there which is the red so we're gonna desaturate the red a little bit and we're gonna have this so just desaturate the red a little bit and we can also blend the color to match so like plus one or plus two okay so the next thing i'm going to do i want to make the red color of our cloth desaturate the color on a cloth i'm going to grab the um un saturation again so this one i'm going to decrease the saturation of the overall dress not too much and i'm going to close it and let's invert the mask control i to invert the mask and once you invert the mask you are going to grab the brush tool and you're going to clean uh, sorry make sure the foreground color is white and you're going to paint over to remove the colors like that on our shirt so all our shirt now is black no any other mixed color and this is what now i want to balance the rest color let's grab another u and saturation adjustment layer and i'm going to go to select color range and i'm going to select this part of our skin and so now i'm going to hold and shift and select more of those area and it's okay so let's desaturate those places a bit and then there we go it's gone before and after all right so i'm going to group all this together Okay, so that's color correction. Create a stem visible layer, control shift alternate E, and now proceed with the frequency separation. Control J twice.
before and then the after. So close this place and then create a stem visible layer, control shift alternate E to create a stem visible layer. Let's try and work on the eyes. So let's go ahead, grab the photo filter and choose the cooling filter 82. In fact, the mask control I to in fact the mask, grab the normal brush tool and paint on the eyes. Make sure the foreground color is white. Okay, so paint on the eyes. I'm gonna just quickly paint on the eyes like this to bring out to remove make a high ball white and we can see from a far distance you can duplicate it ctrl j to duplicate it and it's going to be more white whiter and you can decrease the fill let's decrease the fill till it looks you no know, natural go ahead and create another stamp visible layer ctrl shift button e to create the stamp visible layer and this time around we're going to go to filter and camera of filter to do some color grading so now the camera of filter let's go ahead with the basic tab it's okay now once you it's okay it's gonna still update that for us and now you can take a look at the end it's not the same with the face the saturation of this place so i'm going to grab the un saturation adjustment layer and then i'm going to close that go to select color range and i'm going to select that part of our hand and quickly it's going to give us this range and you can hit okay and let's double click to open it up and we're going to increase the saturation so just increase the saturation of this place and it's going to blend it in okay so close and now we have this overall before and after okay so just grab these two together and match them together let okay. say so we're almost done okay we're almost done we can do dodging and burning but before that let's work on the eyelashes So next thing is to color grade grab the um, color balance and then the add some magenta so that's how i color grade to get the image looking um, awesome create this time visible i'm going to shift alternate e and we're almost done so we're going to add vibrance let's just quickly add vibrance to the image and increase the vibrance and there we go from the vibrance okay i'm going to close it and merge it with this merge layers all right so now let's see from where we be began the addicting um, i'm going to group it together turn it off turn this on so there we go with before and after before and after 